I got an email in. Nigerian prince in need. Wow, I'm in need of $20 and an exchange will send me $5 million? All I need is your bank account information? Of course I'll help you, Mr. Nigerian prince. This must be my lucky day. What did Sally do wrong in this video? By this point, we all know not to trust the Nigerian prince who's offering you a million dollars if you just give him your bank information. But that suspicious Netflix or USPS link could be just as dangerous. Phishing attacks have been a problem since the dawn of technology, and as technology has evolved, so have they. Phishing attacks rely on persuasion, convincing the victim to perform some desired action. And without this action, the attack fails, and the victim with their data goes on another day. As a prospective cybersecurity major, I've always wondered how the tactics behind these attacks that rely so heavily on victim input ensure reliability and trustworthiness with the victim to make sure that these pivotal actions are followed through. To ensure victims take the risk of interacting with an unknown source, attackers exploit our cognitive biases. If successful, victims are more likely to ignore red flags and take unnecessary risks, giving attackers the end they need to get the information they want. For example, this is a smishing attempt I received. If this attempt had reached someone who recently ordered a package through USPS, it could exploit the availability bias. The availability bias states that people will base their decisions off of the most recent and recallable information. Therefore, if someone received this and remembered ordering a package through USPS, but doesn't remember putting in their address, they could assume this is a legitimate USPS link, even though the bottom portion of the link shows that it is fake. Now, let's see what Sally has learned from this information. Oh, I got an email from USPS. They can't deliver my package because they don't have my address information. I, I did just recently order a package, but I, I... Did I put in my address information? This link looks weird, and this email, it's, it's just a string of numbers. I should... I should look up to see what the USPS emails are and report this one. This doesn't look real. Sally investigated into the email and made sure to look at who's sending it and what they sent. Good job, Sally.